Hi everyone, welcome to another digital class at basicgrade.com. For this week's class, we're going to be creating a party invitation. And I'm using Photoshop Elements 8, and I'm going to take you through the very beginning initial steps of creating the invitation, all the way until setting it up for printing. So the first thing I, you know, just a couple things you need to know about this invitation here. I've designed it specifically to fit a quarter size, like it's on letter size piece of paper, but it's just one fourth of the paper. So it's actually the same size as the standard card. So I'm going to come up here and create a new document, a new uh, file, blank file, and it needs to be 300 resolution, but the width will be 5.5 and the height will be 4.25. I'll hit OK. I'm going to make the, the finished one smaller and put it off to the side. Okay, make that one large. Alright, the first thing we need to do is I'm going to create a white border around the outside edge of the invitation. And I'm doing that because I don't want any colors bleeding off the edges. If I was going to have this printed professionally, it wouldn't matter that those colors are bleeding all the way to the edges. But since I'm going to print these at home, I want to make sure that my own home printer can handle the printing. And most home printers will have to put a white border around the outside edge of the page. So I'm just going to go ahead and design that into my invitation. So I'm going to create a new layer over here. I'm going to do shift backspace or shift delete and I'm going to fill that layer with white. Just make sure under contents it says white and I'll hit OK. Okay, so now I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to add some guidelines here. And if you don't already have these rulers up here, you can go to view rulers. Okay, so I'm going to drag these down to a quarter of an inch. Most home printers will put at least a quarter of an inch around the outside. So I'm actually going to make the border slightly larger than one quarter. I come down here to the rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to go ahead and start drawing a rectangle. I want it to be a little bit away from those guides because I want to make sure my printer is going to be able to handle it. Okay, and it just drew a white square. If your square isn't white, it's okay. We're actually not going to use that square. We just want that shape so that we can select the area. So holding down the command key or the control key, uh, click on the image of the shape over in the layers palette. When you do that, it adds the marching ants around the shape, and that means that that area is selected. So now I'm going to come down to the layer we created before that's just a white layer. So with that layer selected, I'll go ahead and hit delete, and it will take out that interior area. So now I can turn off this up, shape up here. And we've got this frame here. You can't see it right now, but I'll drop in a pattern and you'll be able to see it. All right, so using uh, the move tool, I'm going to drop in this raspberry pattern. And it will fill that shape, and so the, the frame on top is white. I can move this around within that shape. Okay, the distressing on this pattern paper is actually quite distinct, and I'm going to be putting type on top of it, and I don't want it to be quite that, have quite that much contrast. So I'm going to take the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to just eyedropper this lighter magenta color in the distressing. I'll come to the background layer, and using the paint bucket, I'll just fill it with that pink color. Now I can come up to the pattern and adjust the opacity down a little bit, and then I'll just start to lighten up that distressing. I just want to show a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete that shape since we don't need it anymore. All right, the next thing we need to do is add the bar at the bottom for the lighter pink color. We're going to come to our um, rectangle tool. I'm going to go ahead and change it from the rounded to the rectangle. So you get this flyout menu, just click on it and hold until it comes out. And I'm going to draw a box right here. Slide it underneath that white frame. And then I'm going to take the lighter pink pattern 
and drop it into our documents. Using the move tool up here at the top, I'm going to slide this pink area over. And now I'm going to do a clipping mask on that layer. You're going to do, you're going to come over to that layer and do Command G, or you can do Control G if you're on a PC. That just snaps that pattern into place into the shape that's below it. All right, so now we're going to drop in this flower. I'm going to click and drag up into our document, and it's too large, so I'll size it down. I'll hit the green check mark to lock that in place. Now it's time to add all of our type, and I'm going to walk you through that right now. Selecting the type tool over here, and I'll come over onto the side. Actually, before we do that, we're going to change the color so we, uh, or so we can see what we're going to be typing. I'm going to come down here and just I'm just going to select a yellow color. It doesn't need to be exact, and I'm going to click on the side right there. I'm going to change my font. For this particular um, invite, I'm going to use Franklin Gothic. Let's just say Kate. All right. I'm going to size that down a little bit. About right there. Hit the green check mark. Now I'm going to select the text tool once again, and this time I'm going to use a different font. Make it a little bit smaller. And it's going to say is turning. All right, and I'll hit the green check mark to lock that in. And now I can size it down. I want it to be about the same width as her name. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to put in Let's Celebrate. I'll click the text tool again and I'll do Let's Celebrate. Change the fonts. All right, I'm doing um, Command T or Control T to get these, um, to get the sides of the text area so that I can size it down. I'll slide that up a little bit. And I'll hit the check mark. Now we need to put in the number eight. So I'll click and put in eight. I'm going to change that font. All right, I'll do Command T so I can size that again. So I want a nice big eight. Hit the green check mark to lock that in. Okay, now we need to drop in the pattern in this area. In order to do that, I'm going to select all four layers of type and I'll do Command E and that combines everything all into one layer. The text is no longer able to be edited, but since we have it the way we want it, worry, we don't need to edit it anymore. I'm going to drop in the yellow pattern. And using the move tool, I'm just going to move that so that a little bit of the distressing would be over the type. And again, once again, I'll do Command G. And that takes that pattern and drops it into the shape right below it. And the shape this time happens to be the type. Okay, so if we ever need to move the type, we're going to want to select the type layer and then use our arrow keys to move it around over here. All right, the last thing we need to do before we add our shadows is add the detailed text about the party. So I'm going to click on this uh, yellow layer over here, so it's above. Click right here and I'll start typing in the details. All right, I'm going to use my move tool and just slide that up underneath the other text. And I'm going to add some shadows. 
I'm going to add a shadow to the large type. So I'm going to select the large type area. I'm going to come up here to the effects palette and it should be drop shadows right here. I'll double click on low and it's still too intense. So I'm going to come down here to the lay to this palette, to the layers palette, and double click on the FX icon. I'm just going to take this down to about 5, 10, and then I'm going to take the opacity down to about 30. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to come over to that layer and using my uh, right mouse button, or if you're on a, a Mac, you can use the control button. I click on that and do copy layer style. And now I'll come to the flower and right click again and do paste layer style. And that just adds the shadow to the flower as well. Okay, so here's our finished invitation. The, uh, before we lay it out onto the final sheet of paper, we want to save this file and save it while it's still layered. So I'm going to come to File, Save As. I'm just going to save it. And I'll save it as Invite. Okay, now we're going to come to the Layers palette and we're going to flatten the image. And that's just so it's easier to work with. Now we're going to come up to File, New, Blank File. And we're going to create an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. So 8.5 by 11. Okay, so here's our sheet of paper. And here's our invitation. We're going to rotate the invitation. So image rotate 90 degrees left. Okay, so we're going to, using our move tool, we're going to click, actually, before we do that, we want to come up here to view and make sure we have snap to guides selected. All right, so now we're going to take this image and we're going to click and drag over into this area and it'll snap into place when you get up to the corner. We're going to hold down the alt key and the shift key and slide that over and it'll snap into place as well. And now I can select both of these holding down the shift or the command key if you're on a, on a Mac, or holding down the shift key, I guess. And using the alt key, I'm going to slide these down. Okay, and then I'm going to come to layer and I'm going to flatten the whole image. I'm going to save it once again, and I'll call it invite print. I can even take it down to JPEG, so it's a little bit smaller. Hit save. We want the quality to be as high as possible. So I said OK. OK, so now it's time to print. So I'm going to come up here to File, Print. All of these over here on the side are everything that's open right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use, using the Shift key, I'm going to select everything I don't want to print and click on Remove. Now we're left with this one right here. If it doesn't look like this on your screen, you're going to need to go through Page Setup. So click on Page Setup and you're going to select your printer and the size of paper you'll be printing to. Then hit OK. And over here, you're, uh, for Select Paper Size, you can just leave it as other. You've already set it up in Page Setup. And then under Select Print Size, you want to make sure it says Actual Size. And then you can hit Print and send it to your printer. So that's how you create a digital invite. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.